Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that the content is useful and promotes it to others. If you don't like it, let me know about it in the comments. If you still don't have a Star Citizen account, use my referral link in the description below or the code on screen to snag yourself some extra starting credits. Now on with the video. So we'll start out by exiting our hab. Make our way over to the elevator and then head for the lobby. Make our way from the elevators into the main lobby area. When we get in here, we'll notice that in the center of the room is the entrance to the hospital, and then to the right and left of that are stairs that head down. If we head down the stairs, there's another uh, pair of stairs in the middle heading down further, which goes down to the metro loop. Off to the right, we'll have the train that goes to the commons, and off to the left, we'll have the spaceport train. So once the train arrives, just go ahead and get on and uh, enjoy the nice ride out to the spaceport. So once we get off the train, we'll have to figure out where the exit is up to the elevators. And then we'll take the elevators up to the terminal. Once we exit the elevators, we just make our way through the customs area. And then up the stairs, and we go ahead and make a left. Directly in front of us is the uh, hangar elevators as well as the ASOP terminals to summon your ship. Really quickly though, if we make another left and head up these small little stairs. And then right in front of us is the surface entrance which allows us to spawn ground vehicles using the ASOP terminals there. And then back down the stairs to the right is the Regal Luxury Rentals which has some ship rentals available. So as we quantum into New Babbage, we're going to be looking around for the big building with the red landing lights. It's on the side of a hill. And there it is. And it'll be a little bit easier to see the hill and other structures when it's daytime. So as we exit quantum here in the daytime, we can much easier see the city. Uh, in fact, you can already see the spaceport down in the bottom left corner. Uh, but let me zoom the camera in so we get the ship out of the way here. And rotate us around a little bit easier so it's better view. So you can see how the building is there on the side of the hill. Um, as you get closer, you'll be able to see the lights. Uh, lights are most easiest to see in the dark, uh, but during the day it's easier just to just find the building. Thankfully, it's not a big snowstorm, so it's much easier to see it. If there is low visibility, look for the train tracks as they're leading out of the city and then just follow those. As we fly in a little bit closer, I'll point out a couple other uh, landmarks that may be useful for later times. From here, we can see a set of four little domes. The one on the right is the common surface entrance. You can spawn ground vehicles or go directly into the commons if you wanted to go sell commodities at the trading uh, center or something else without having to go through the spaceport and take a train. And then over here, underneath the train conduit bridge, as it goes inside the building, is the ground vehicle surface entrance that is attached to the spaceport. 